It's Friday the 24th. I'm Rob with a different approach to this week's top five news stories. I bought the $60 version of Rocket League on Steam and have three codes to give. Earlier this morning, I asked people to send in your guesses on what stories we'll pick. The first three people with the closest answers will get Rocket League. Let's get right to it. Everyone ready? All right. First up, O9, as in owning up to Mighty Number no. 9. Mighty Number no. 9 creator KG Inafune has taken responsibility for the game's quality and issues. Inafune says that he owns all of the problems that came with the game. Further saying, and if you want to hurl the insults at me, it's totally my fault. The problems included Kickstarter back game codes failing to work, visual issues, and overall quality of the gameplay. Some good news though, if you happen to be one of the 70,000 Kickstarter backers, you made it into the four hour long credit roll at the end of the game. Oh dang, I know that guy. Are we ready for the next one, guys? <laughs> Cliff's into it. Okay. Next one here is O2, as an Oculus has stopped blocking the Vive. After the Oculus Rift was released, it wasn't long before Revive, a way to run its exclusive games on the HTC Vive, was created. Oculus responded by requiring a hardware check as part of its DRM, but now the company has removed this check, much to the Revive creator's surprise. Oculus has confirmed the move with Verge, further stating, We believe protecting developer content is critical to the long-term success of the VR industry, and we'll continue taking steps in the future to ensure that VR developers can keep investing in groundbreaking new VR content. Okie dokie, artichokey, let's take a look at the next one. Ooh, I feel we got a winner. G8, as in great news, the Steam Summer Sale is here. There's a heat wave going on. My feet are sore. There's a stalker outside who wants to wear my skin. Find your own excuse to stay inside because today's deals are hot, like super hot. 20 bucks, alien isolation, $12, woo! Or how about the entire Sniper Elite trilogy for 20 clams? Hot, 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 hot. This Steam summer sale runs now until the 4th of July. Next one here is Cheryl, eyes on me, G10. As in greens be coming to 10 million PS3 owners. Sony's six year long class action lawsuit related to the PS3 is wrapping up. Back in 2010, Sony locked out support for users who wished to run Linux on their PS3s. Many people were super pissed. In terms of the settlement, which has not been approved, Sony has agreed to pay as much as $55 to as many as 10 million PS3 owners. All right, last one. Okay, what do we have here? Ooh. CCD BBLLO 8.6, as in Clash of Clans dev bought out by League of Legends owner. Bingo! Oh, bingo! Yeah. Edward, my man, come on down. Bingo is right. The Chinese internet company Tencent, who owns a controlling interest in League of Legends, will pay $8.6 billion to acquire a 84.3% stake in Supercell. Supercell is the developer of Clash of Clans, is now valued at $10.2 billion. Tencent has explained that Supercell's existing management would maintain operational independence. Clash of Clans has over 100 million people playing each day, and in 2015, it was the second highest grossing digital video game. And to all of you real winners out there, you'll be getting a code from me shortly. Thanks for playing. Have a great weekend.